Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got another crazy current events video for you guys. And oh man, this is just so stupid. I didn't think that I was going to make a video on these, you know, ridiculous protesters again. I certainly wasn't going to if they did something stupid in a museum again. But uh, this case, um, now, you had an idiot. Um, this guy's from Ex Extinction Rebellion is the group. He interrupted a live TV program and jumped on the table and glued himself to it in order to protest climate change. And I don't think that the idiot who did this, I don't think he realizes that this has done more damage to his group and his... his uh, cause more than anything else um and i'm gonna explain why in a little bit uh but he got he was glued to the table and then later on um he was actually knocked off the table when they actually tilted it um but anyways let's play the first part of the clip right here right now okay guys oh that is two companies in name Ik, ik zit hier vast. In een live programma. Ik, ik zit hier vast in een live programma. En ik ga het Hoe moet hier je hebben het... ja? over de klimaat- en ecologische crisis. Ik ga het hebben over het feit dat we het nu hier wel over hebben. En dat we het hier niet over hadden toen honderden duizenden Pakistanen deze zomer hun um, hè, te maken hadden met gigantische overstromingen veroorzaakt door de klimaatcrisis. Wacht even, maar je, je kan niet de hele tijd aan het woord zijn. Nee, jawel, ik ga de hele tijd aan het woord zijn. Ja? ja, mijn geduld is ook op. Mensen gaan dood, bro. Ja, dat goed punt, goed punt. Maar ik geef het toch nee, even. Heel woord. goed punt. Mensen gaan dood en wij hebben het hier over de fucking ja, maar, Donald Duck. Ja, maar je moet toch ook wel eventjes. <laughs> Goed punt wederom, maar we moeten ook eventjes natuurlijk het weerwoord krijgen. Ja, dat, dat, dat geloof je of geloof je daar geen geloof je daar niet in? Um, kijk, het weerwoord op het gebied van klimaatverandering. Is er eigenlijk niet. Jullie kunnen niet mij op deze manier loshalen. Dit is gevaarlijk. Jullie kunnen me hier schade bij doen. Jij bent hier Frank. Dit gaat niet helpen. Dit gaat niet helpen. Dit kan niet. Dit gaat niet helpen. So basically, you can see the presenter's face and that the presenter is even like, you know, what the hell? And um, uh, if somebody in the comments, you know, could translate the majority of that, the article that I'm reading says translates a little bit of it. But if you could let me know, like, you know, what they're saying, basically, I don't know this program, so I don't know what kind of program this is. I'm assuming this is some kind of, you know, discussion commentary um, program. But anyways, um, climate change activist uh, Gel de, uh, de Graaf. Had, had been appearing on the Dutch television show Jinek, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, to dis discuss Just Stop Oil protesters gluing themselves to Vermeer's The Girl with the pearl e uh, earring earlier this week. As the presenter led the debate, Mr. De Graaf jumped, into, uh, jumped onto the desk and pulled out a small container of glue and proceeded to slather his hands with the adhesive before slamming them onto the table. As presenter Bio, uh, Bio Van Irvin Dorans looked on stunned, the climate activist launched into a rant about the media ignoring the threat of the climate emergency. Oh my god. Um, where do I start with this? So, when I was watching that clip and, like, the guy just jumps on the table, it, like, you're thinking to yourself, what the hell? Like, what are you doing exactly? And the ridiculous part is when it says he, he accuses, he, it says that he launches into a rant about the media ignoring the threats of threat of climate change, climate emergency. Now, look, I'm not a denier of climate change. I understand that it's an issue. But it's like I said before, is that this is not the way to go about protesting. But these idiots don't understand and they just keep doing more and more of this. But what is he talking about here exactly? Now, I, I can't speak for the Netherlands because I don't watch Dutch media. But I can tell you that in my country, in America, the media constantly talks about climate change. The mainstream media, smaller medias, they constantly talk about it. It, it, it's it's constantly talked about, so I don't know what he's um, talking about here. The media is ignoring the threat of the cl climate emergency. And now let's read here more, because because what he says says is even stupider here. Um, Mr. De Graaf said, "I'm stuck here in a live program, and I'm going to talk about the climate and ecological crisis here." My God. Okay, now listen. You were invited as a, you, it, he says, I'm stuck here on the program. And I'm going to talk about the climate and the ecological crisis. I think they actually went to a commercial break right after this. I could be actually wrong. Um, but that basically then, you know, cuts out everything that you're going to say. And the thing is, everything that you wanted to say when you glued your hands to that table, you could have said while you were just sitting at the table. There was no need to actually jump on the table and then glue your hands to it. You're stuck here, you're stuck here, you're saying that you're on this live program stuck here, but you were invited. You were invited. You were a guest. That's right, you are a guest. The This TV show has invited you on. So you are a guest, you have the right to speak 
You were invited to speak about your group's positions, your group's views. And instead of trying to talk about your views, talk about, you know, what your group believes in, you know, the first you do is you just jump on this table and you glue your hands to it. Really? Seriously? You had an opportunity here to discuss what your group was about and the whole message, but instead you just jump on the table and glue your hands. You know, pe people look at that and they're like, this is, this is the group that came here to explain themselves. And good job, because guess what? You're never going to be invited on that program again now. You and your group, and even anybody else from your group, is not going to be invited on that program because they know that Id idiots jump on the table, glue their hands to it. What are they going to do next? Are they going to have, you know, paint in their, um, uh, paint hidden uh, behind their jackets and just spill it all over the table or something else next? What this guy did, you know, I don't know what this, I don't know if this is necessarily a crime what he did because he was invited as a guest, but, you know, when he just glues himself to the to the table at that point, the studio, they can kick him out if they want to. So that's pretty much what had happened. Um, it doesn't seem like they're... I don't even know what he would be pressed for, but it doesn't seem like... The, the studio is actually pretty nice to him, despite of what he did. Um, Mr. Van Ir Irvin uh, Dorans attempted to intervene to I interrupt the protester, but was quickly re re rebuked. People are dying, and you're talking about the Donald Duck. Oh my god. The program had been covering a series of topics before moving on to the climate change debate, including Donald Duck's birthday. Okay. Now, I don't know what kind of program this is. This is some kind of entertainment commentary channel, but they talk about what they want to talk about. And so just because they had a segment about Donald Duck previously doesn't mean that they don't care about the don't care about the consequences of climate change. That's why they brought you on the show so that you could explain yourself and explain your views. But instead, you do this. Mr. DeGraff was removed during an advertisement break alongside the whole desk he had glued himself on. The TV presenter said, he's off the table now, is backstage, had a coke, and he's doing well. He added, I saw that he was very nervous. I tried to reassure him. I thought it was quite un unsympathetic because other guests did not speak. Although his supporters will love this, but I don't think the message gets across that way. Let's play the other part of the clip right here, right now. Ik zit vastgelijmd. Kanker. Ah. Ik val niemand aan, man. Ik trek gewoon opstaan. Rustig maar. Ik loop terug. Rustig maar. Ik verzet me niet. Ik doe niks. Je hoeft dit niet te doen. Ik verzet me niet. Ik verzet me niet. So there, um, he, he, I don't think he expected that, and I don't know how the, how I don't know how strong these glues are exactly, but. I'm, I'm assuming that when you first glue yourself to it, it's going to take a little bit longer for it to actually uh, the effects to apply fully. And so they, you know, they tilted the table, they knocked him off, and he, and notice how surprised he was when they picked up the table. Like he didn't expect that. They cut the commercial, brought the table out, and just tilted him over. You know, what did you think was going to happen? Did you think that the TV program was just going to go on, and while you were just sitting on the table, just um, just you know, ranting, because you. They were, you were brought on this show to have a reasonable discussion. And notice how when the presenter was trying to have a discussion, even when he sat on the table, the presenter was like, what the hell? But he was still um, trying to have a conversation with him. But instead, the guy just starts ranting to him. That's not having a reasonable discussion. When you're literally just interrupting somebody else and just yelling at somebody else, why should that person listen to you? You had a perfect opportunity to be to act in a calm, reasonable manner, present your case for your cause, and why you believe what you believe. And instead of doing that, like I said, you do this. Um... Mr. Van Irwin uh, Dorans then asked the public about their stance on the activist move, with one member of the audience saying, I thought this was a really good move. This is necessary to keep the conversation going. Having a conversation at the table is possible, but I think people will remember the, the content less. A very brave move from him. Now, I don't know if this is the, if, if this is the same person that says the second um, part, but the, uh, the audience member. I thought this was a really good move. What? How is this a really good move? This was not a really good move. And... I'll say, for, for the audience member that thought that this was a good move, you know, where does this end exactly? Because how would you react if they, these protesters glued their hands to your property, just went into your driveway, or threw paint on your on your property? Because that's what these protesters have been doing. They've been van involved in a lot of vandalism. So where does this end? Because, you know, you have this one audience member that says, oh, you know, it's, it's good right here. Um, you know, it, I thought this was a really good move. But when it happens to your property, when they're becoming a nuisance to you, I doubt that you're going to feel that way. Uh, and when he says the, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this is the same person that said this next quote or if this is the presenter, but a very, very brave move from him. This is not brave. 
This is just making yourself look like a, a, a complete idiot. This is not brave. Uh, another member of the public said, I don't like this kind of action. Others don't get a chance to speak now. Exactly. You know, no, P, you're, you're, you're supposed to have a reasonable discussion, and you're not, you're not allowing that here. You're, just, you're, you're trying to create attention on yourself, and you're making yourself and your group look stupid. The stunt came days after Just Stop Oil activists targeted Dutch master jo Johans um, Vermeer's uh, Girl with the Pearl Earring. From what I have seen, it seems like most of the audience basically is thinking, you know, what I'm thinking and what most of you guys are thinking, that this guy's an idiot, but very few people speak out against this. You know, why, why do so little people um, speak out against this stuff, especially in the audience? And I think the reason for that is I think because they're scared of, um, of being accused of being climate change uh, deniers. That's pretty much what it is. Like I said, I don't deny climate change. I understand that it's an issue. But this is not the way to go about your protest. And the thing is, these protesters, how they basically act is that if you say what they're doing is stupid, if you say what they're doing is nonsense, they will accuse you of being a climate change denier. They will say, oh, you know, you're not, you don't acknowledge the gravity of climate change. You don't care. They will accuse you of, of not caring, not caring about the planet and stuff like that. When plenty of people care about the planet. We just don't want to see pe people's property get vandalized with paint. We don't want to see people constantly glue their hands to the road, glue their hands to tables on TV shows and um you know go into department stores and just pour milk all over the floor because that's what these protesters have been doing when you do stuff like that that's not protesting at that point that is vandalism and trespassing that's pretty much what it is and so i don't know what these protesters expect it's like the same thing with those those idiots that literally went into the car dealership in in germany and just glued their hands and then what happened was the staff got pissed off they had a long day at work they had work the next day they were going to supposed to get up in the morning and so they just turned off the lights and they went home and I, and the and the protesters were just so shocked that they left them there well you're the idiots who came in and glued your hands to, to, the, to the floor in the car dealership in the first place and the way this guy was like shocked you saw his face he was like looking around he's like what they're picking up the table what did you expect them to do you know they're not, they're not gonna let you um uh they're not gonna let you ruin the TV program like this. This cause a, a scene, and it's like I said at the beginning of this video, guys. This guy had this stunt has done I think more damage, more damage because this this stunt isn't as illegal as the other ones, but this stunt has done more damage to this group and their cause. Uh, the just the Extinction Rebellion, the Just Stop Oil people, this has done the the most damage because people see this. They're watching the TV program and they're trying to hear this guy's points of view. And, the, and what they see is instead of hearing a rational argument from this person, they see the guy just jump on the table. That is not going to encourage anybody to support your cause. Do you think that somebody's going to be watching the, the TV show and they're going to say, oh, you know, this guy, you know, he, he glued his, he jumped on the table, interrupted the TV show and glued his hands and then starts ranting about how you... Uh, how they don't care about climate change. I'm going to support this group now. Do you really think people are, are going are gonna to support your group after a stunt like that? If you want people to support your group, you state your positions very clearly, you back it up with evidence, and you explain why you believe the things that you do in a reasonable manner. This is not a reasonable manner. This is just being a complete buffoon and an idiot. But anyways, that's that for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful day.